Oh my goodness. Look at these giant logs. This is Pin Oak. This giant tree fell down at James's twin brother's house over the weekend when it stormed. So we got them cut up and brought them home. They are 24 inches in diameter, which is the max size of log that we can put on our sawmill. So we're gonna be maxing it out for the first time. So I'm really excited to see how the sawmill and the trailer does with this big of a log. I know the camera does not do it justice, but these things are huge. So we're gonna get them pulled off of here, get them on the mill, and then we'll mill them up in the morning. Okay, what's your plan for getting the logs off? Instead of hoisting each one of them up, we're gonna see if we can just drag them off the trailer and then I'll fork them to get them up over to the mill. Okay. We got the tractor back out, we got the sawmill ready, we got a brand new blade on it, and it is officially time to max out the HM126 with these giant oak locks. Here we go! This log is so big that we could barely get the clamps on them to hold the log in place. That's the highest we could get it because it won't go out far enough to go up this side of the log, obviously, because it's rounded out. We've never had that problem before because we've never put this big of a log on there. Look at this one. So it's going to be tight, but we're going to get her done. So we made two passes on the mill. This is what it looks like after. So we took the first layer of bark off and then we took one more layer off. And this is what it looks like. James put a new blade on the mill this morning. And man, you can tell, cause he says for one, it's cutting like butter. And for two, look at how smooth that is. It almost looks like it's been through a planer, but obviously it hasn't. So now we're to the point where we need to roll this giant thing. This isn't going to be easy. It's hard enough when we roll our smaller logs, but this thing is massive. So we're going to roll her now and mill her up some more. Oh my goodness, that was difficult. 
this thing is so heavy, we can't use the cant hooks to just roll it over like we normally do. We couldn't even roll it on the fork. So as you can see in the video, we literally had to get the whole log off the mill, roll it over on the ground, pick it back up and put it back on there. So if you have a better way of turning these massive logs, let us know. But for now, that's the only way that we can figure out how to do it. It's just too heavy. So we're gonna saw it up some more. Wow, this is not an easy process with this large of a log. I gotta be honest, it's a lot of work, but it's working. Okay, I'm not gonna flip this log anymore just because it's so hard. So um, to minimize waste, I'm gonna cut, uh, this is 16 inches wide right now. I need two by sixes. Out of each pass, I should have two two by sixes and one two by four and uh, we'll be using this to build the barn. And then that'll of course have one inch left over. So with the well, inch board, that'll leave us a one by one, which yeah. I can use for all kinds of things in the house, different projects I wanna make. And it works really nicely for board and bat and walls, which I wanna do in our bedroom. So if we have enough one by ones left over, I'll use them in our bedroom to do a board and bat and wall, which will look really nice, so. Here it is, lots of lumber. This side's got a little bit of live edge on it, but this down here does not. These boards are 11 feet long, so these will be nice to use when we build our giant woodworking shop. We've got so far one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And James is over here manhandling this with his muscles because we got to flip it over to mill just the last little bit. Now I gotta get all these on here so I can get my two by sixes and two by fours cut. We're just gonna put them all on here at the same time. Okay. We have three cuts left. I'm gonna take an inch off the top, a two by four, and then a two by six, which will leave us two two by sixes. So per board. There it is. It's done. We got 22 by sixes and 10 two by fours. I drove this all the way down. Look at you with that little tiny four wheeler. Here comes Isaac. That's a baby's four wheeler. Oh, you found a feather? That's cool. Anyway, so it's done and that's only one log. We still have 
two more logs, this one and one behind it, that are from John's house, from the same tree that we will cut up later on. But just from the one log, we got 30 nice pieces of lumber. We will unload that lumber later. I am ready for lunch. So we just got all the lumber loaded into the barn that we got from that oak log. So you've actually got 22 of the two by sixes because you've got the one on the top here you can see that has some bark. So we'll be able to cut that off and use some of that. And then you've got 10 two by four, so lots of lumber. Our lumber pile is getting bigger and bigger. We will be ready to build our shop next summer. And hopefully we won't have to buy any lumber.